Welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and I recently went back to Galaxy's Edge, my second time of 2021, and they happened to release new droid accessories, new droids even. There's a chopper droid now, which I'll review in another video. But I'm going to review, where is he? There he is. Sad is all fully upgraded with the fairy droid accessory set from the Droid Depot on Galaxy's Edge. Now this set includes a dome. Dome extender, arms, legs... And what does that say? And or. I thought it said DNA. I was like, what? What the what? All right, you guys have seen the front of the box. It does say, this is something you gotta see. It's up close. What does it say right there? Droid body not included. So basically, this comes with everything else except for that white torso. Head. It even comes with the head. But you can also fit it onto any of the R series droids, which is pretty cool that you can do that. So. I'm gonna break this thing open, but obviously I've already done it. He's already hooked up, but I wanted to show you guys what this thing does. It did cost $69.99. Let's take a look at the back of this box. All right, fairy droid accessory set. Includes dome, dome extender, arms, leg, and ore. All different types of droids populate the galaxy. Each droid is different and has their own unique personality and colors. In the burning sulfuric atmosphere of the Navarro Lava Rivers, fairy droids operate keelboats to provide safe passage for travelers, as we saw in the Mandalorian Season 1 finale. This accessory set is compatible with Droid Depot R Series and C1 Series body canisters. Now that's kind of funny they mentioned C1 Series because they just came out with Chopper. There he is. Excuse the mess on my floor. There's instructions for this thing over there. But excuse the mess. <laughs> There's Chopper. Now, real quick, just to show you the other sides of the box, a little Droid Depot, whole lot of nothing, the cool little industrial automaton logo that they put on there, um, just some more random droidy things. Hazard not for kids under three. Other side just got a whole lot of nothing on it too. Industrial automaton. Brad, yeah, that's where you're from, man. And that's that's about it. Anything on the bottom other than the price tag? Nope, sixty nine ninety nine. And just your same normal stuff as always. All right, Fairy Droid Accessory said, this accessory is compatible with Droid Depot R-Series and C1 body canisters. You can see how you use the screwdriver where the leg portion would be is where these sets of double arms go. And then where the third little middle leg would normally go for the droid is where you put the whole set of legs here. Now the legs do not have any electronics in them. Same as that third middle leg, but the arms do in fact have electronics in them like the legs do normally. So there it is fully assembled, it says, Press button on top side of leg accessory to remove from bottom of R series or C1 body canister. Anything on the back? Nothing on the back. It doesn't even tell you how to use with the remote, but I can show you because I've got I've got his remote right here. Okay, head still works, right? Now notice there's an extender there, right? Yeah, notice that extender. It's ext it's higher than normal. In fact, let's let's change the lights to be a little bit brighter in here. And maybe that'll look a little better. Oh, so much better. Now we can see you in all your your filthy glory there, sad. Sorry, brother. But it is what it is. So take a look at these arms. The arms, I'm going to take the ore out of your hand. It does come with this giant ore, but it doesn't work so well with the arms. Now, if you'll notice, he might fall when I do this, but we'll see. Oh, see, one of the arms works a little faster than the other one. And that's if you just do the up and down motion, right? Down for both arms, up for both arms. Now, if I do the left and right, which would normally spin one leg and not the other, it it does this. Isn't that great? So you can kind of make him like a dancing droid. And he still hooks up. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry to do this to you, Sad. Hopefully I don't knock everything over, because one thing I found is that with these legs, you do kind of have, I can bend them straight up, so they're all not bent at all but he's very likely to fall down. He's very like wobbly, if you see that? I'm moving him just a little bit. He has actually fallen down on me a couple times and I did not like that. Um, one thing I do wanna point out here real quick before I get into any of the other stuff is you can change the rotation of the arm here at the elbow. It does rotate like that. And then with this little one on the inside, that can rotate in and out too. And you can also adjust how high up that goes. Uh, this does not move electronically 
but you'll notice that when you do move the arm, it can get in the way if I had this out and over, it would be in the way. And we do not want that, do we, BBH? Okay, so that those can come back down. Those are pretty cool that it does that. One thing I did notice is, so these fingers are articulated, you can move them in and out, um, but they're very hard to move. But what thing, one thing I did is I set them up so that I could put the blaster accessory that used to go on the legs, because there's no longer an accessory port. That's it, like you're looking at the whole leg port, which normally would be this. There's a screw right there where it would go. And then down here is where the accessory port would be. In this case, it's got nothing. So I found that if I put the blaster in his hand, it just looks cool. It doesn't do anything, but it does just kind of look cool. Kind of look cool. Um, and I dropped it. It's official. Womp womp. <laughs> but of course, Sad is fully, fully decked out here with all of his, his nasties. Okay, can I, can I take this off one-handed? I don't want to knock everything over. Like I said, he is a bit flimsy. Now this is, there's his normal dome, which I've painted and many of you have seen before in the droid group. But this is, this is the extender. So I'm going to take the extender apart. Sorry to do this to you in front of everybody. This is the accessory that it comes with. Notice it does have electronics there. Little touch points, contact points. Same as the dome was. So I don't have to use the extender if I don't want to. Kind of There you go. See, he's, he looks stocky though, doesn't he? He looks really stocky without the extender. It's nicer to have that, uh, that whole thing extended. It just looks better. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, see, see what I did? When I was doing that, I made his legs bend on accident. And when the legs bend like that, he's more likely to fall over under his own weight. Now, I don't know if that is specific. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about, the legs being not so great. Um, no, they are cool, BBH, they are cool. But sometimes the weight of this thing, and I don't know if, I'm not calling you fat, don't worry. <laughs> these chores. But the weight of these things sometimes will, like if the angle's not right, if he's not positioned straight up, maybe, he is more likely he'll lean back, though. I don't want him to lean back. Um, but you have to bend the knees a little bit. you got to bend the ankles. But if it's too much of a bend and the weight is distributed wrong, it will buckle, buckle under its own weight. And that's not good. That's not good at all. So, uh, well, and look how much wobble that has. That's a lot of wobble. I wanted this thing to be a little... There it is. Just the, the wrong amount of wobble and the whole thing collapses. So, very cool for posing. If you want to like set him up and pose him a certain way. Man, but just not, not great for moving around. And one thing I also found is that often when I'm like playing with it and I'm moving the arms around, it will, oh no, no, no. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? There you go. Sometimes the weight distribution with the arms will make it kind of fall down. Oh, see, and that's and he's he's already ready to go. He's already ready to fall down. The ankle, the weight of the ankle could not. Again, that's just a perfect demonstration of how these should be better. For seventy bucks, I think these should be a little bit better. Very cool for posing, if you can find the the exact perfect position to put it in. Nope, and that, and that isn't it. That's not it. It's it's kind of, you have to be really, really careful with it and get it just right. See right there? He's got a little squat, a little bend in the knees. And that's what made him actually stay up. I'm going to put your other accessory back on. And I don't know if it's just, I've only tried it with this one droid so far. Yeah, no, I can't do it with a BB. And I got a lot of other BBs. And I know Brad would normally be down to volunteer. But I don't think it would work with you. Now, some people have asked if the extender will work with other type of droids. So I've got another type of droid here. Sorry, Star Tours, to do that to you. But you're going to be fine, I swear. We're going to take the extender out. And we're going to put this other droid head on. Because it should still fit. It should. Oh, you know what? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does not. Why would it not? I thought it would. Oh, there it goes. I got it. It eventually fit. It took a little a little finagling to do, but it, it eventually sat on there. And so I can take this now, plop that down. Now, let's get my remote. 
Yep. It's so weird to hear you sound like... To sound like sad. Oh! Are you noticing what I'm noticing? Yeah, Brad. No lights. Is that a... That's interesting. Why no lights? Hmm. I mean, that is the correct side. It's on there as good as it can get on there. You just kind of really force it on. Good. You're not coming off. Let's try it again. No. Okay, so if you guys have this style of droid head, have you tried it and does it work? Next, I'm going to go grab a different one. I'm going to grab my, uh, probably an R5 and my R0 and see how those work. All right, I've got an R5. Let's see if it does the same. This seems to fit a bit, a bit more snug. Is it... Yeah, no, I'm definitely having a hard time with it, Brad. What is up? What is up with that? Again, it goes on the, um, yeah, that clips in no problem, very, very easily. But when I try to do it to the R5 head, I really gotta, like, really gotta push that on there hard. Okay, so it's definitely made for, for R3s and R2 series heads. Come on. Every time I push it, it pops back out. You hear it? It just wants to keep popping back out. It doesn't want to lock in place. Hmm. What is it about these that makes that not work? So, even with no head, it's still going to move, right? <laughs> I don't get any ideas. All right, let's... Um... It's still going to make noise, too. Yeah, even with no head. Okay, not very good. Not very good at all. Okay, so it 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 does not stay. I'm gonna say it's a no on the R5 head, and that's a little sad. <laughs> not no no uh, pun intended there, buddy. <laughs> all right, let's try this one. The R0. Oh, this fits perfect. This fits easily, like a charm, no problem at all. Okay, how about lights? Yeah. So the R0 works great. All right, buddy. I'm taking your off with your head. Man, that's upsetting. That is upsetting that it does not work on the R5s or what is this, an R6? I forget. R7? I forget. I don't have them memorized. I'm the worst Star Wars fan ever. <laughs> Okay, so another thing people I know are going to ask is, is it fully compatible with Chopper like it says it is on the box? And as you can see here, the, draw the dome extender actually works perfectly on this. It fit just fine, no problem. It sat on there very easily. Unfortunately, when I opened my Chopper out of the box, he's got very low batteries. But you can see, he still lights up, he still moves, the arms work. Right? The arms work, they do all the things, but the legs is where it gets funny. Yeah, no, I agree, Chop. It doesn't stay. This little fitting on the bottom here, it is just slightly too big of a circle to go inside the bottom here. So it lays on it, and it can like balance, kind of, but it doesn't click and lock in. It just kind of, yeah, it's not great. It's not great. So for those of you who have been wondering, does it work with Chop? Kind of. It kind of works with Chopper. Just the legs won't stay on well. But the extender works and the arms work. So I don't know how good any of that does you. If the... Stay? You're going to stay? If the actual thing just pops right off, no problem. It's just too big of a circle to fit inside of that hole. So there you go. Now, of course, it does come with this red one. This dome is included in your $69. So that's a thing, right? Like, that's kind of neat that it comes with one. Um, and you don't have to provide your entire droid. But here's the problem with the droid accessory set like that. 69 bucks. Everything else, 
that you need, including the head, except for the torso. They don't just sell the torso, though. It, you know, it just seems like a weird move. Weird move in my eyes. All right, that should be on. Do the lights work? Lights work perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. But it works. It looks like the uh, interactivity where they kind of beep and boop at each other and all that kind of stuff. That still works just fine. Um, can I remove this? That's a real question. All right, sad. I'm going to put that on. Now, one thing while we're talking about the interactivity, really what it is is they just kind of, once they notice each other on the signal, um, they'll kind of beep and boop at each other roughly every two minutes, just like Brad's doing right now. Some people have said, and it's false and wrong information, that the remotes need to be off. I'm telling you right now, this is Brad's. Yeah. His, uh, your remote is totally on, dude. It's totally been on this whole time. Sads has been on this entire time. BBH back here, who's been booping and beeping? Okay, easy, easy. Yeah. His remote's been on the entire time. So, and, and I didn't turn them off. They're still on. And they're still going to beep and boop roughly every two minutes because they've all kind of cycled on with each other. Um, Star Tours back here, STR, TRTS, or TRT5, is not on right now, so he's not booping and beeping. But otherwise, pretty cool set for display purposes. Now the fingers, I'm going to show you the fingers are fully articulated on this thing. Take a look. You can open the thumbs. You can close these fingers more. You can rotate the hand. Uh, you cannot rotate it any other way. You can only go like this. It can pivot that way, and that's about it. You can't rotate it like this. Um, but it's still it's still pretty neat. I can get the oar. You can put that in his hand. Let me open up his fingers a little bit. Put the oar in his hands. And there you go. And he's got the little oar. Of course, it's dangling into the ether right there. But overall, a pretty cool-looking set. I do like the set. I think it's neat. Let me get the... Uh, the thing thing going again. So the head works. Again, the lights work. And there's the arms in action. Oh, he dropped it. Sad, you made it official. It's just, it's, so this is one of the things I want to know from you guys. Is this something that you find creepy? I've heard a lot of people say like, oh no, that's creepy. I don't want that thing in my house. And I think it's cool. I think it's actually really, really cool. You can even sit him down if you want. Like, if you wanted to... Sad, if I wanted to just have you hanging out here, we could do that. We totes could. And you could just hang out here. Boom, you're hanging out next to me. Sitting next to everybody else. Yay! <laughs> you like that? That's kind of a weird spot for you, but it's not... It's not the worst. It's not the worst in the world. <laughs> Oh, is that right? Maybe he could sit next to you on the on the crate. You're right. That actually would be a pretty good spot for him. All right, guys. I think this, even though it doesn't hold the weight that it should, and even though the box says it works with all our series, and clearly it does not, I'm still going to give this a rad. I still have to give this a rad rating, right? It's cool. Like... It's the full legs, the full arms. You can get some really, really, really neat poses out of this thing. I approve. I like it. I think it's very cool. But I want to know, what do you guys think? Change the lights. <sighs> we're, back to the, we're back to the normal. The normal look. Thanks to the droids, the light droids who work on this kind of stuff. But I want to know what you think. Is this sad? Is this rad, in your opinion, for $69.99? I believe it is eligible for magic key discounts. I am not a magic key holder. I'm not playing that game. Sorry. <laughs> Which is why I haven't gone to Galaxy's Edge but twice in all of 2021. Um, and that's probably it for the year for me. Unless something new comes out between now and the end of the year that like I must have. Uh, my next Disney trip is going to be to Florida for the Galactic Star Cruiser. So make sure you're subscribed and ready for that. As I will be posting a lot. I thought I lost this. In my last video... That I did about the pulse rifle. I was short one dart. I didn't know it was here on the on the desk all the time. So I was going crazy in my backyard trying to find it. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure to click right here to watch it. And until next time, don't be a move milker. Be the spark.